Hare Krishna, good morning my dear Prabhus and dear Matajis. Thank you for joining our morning Japa session. And welcome to our Brudge Bhakti Academy Monk in the Middle Podcast, the study of Srimad Bhagavatam. Hello, hello, Hare Krishna, Riza, Sha- Shirley, Hi. Rolly, Paolo, John, Nikita, Hare Krishna, and of course my dear God brothers, Radhanath Prabhu. And now with Chandra Prabhu, good morning, Hare Krishna. And you know the drill before we enter in the realm of the study, Satting Srimad Bhagavatam, we should be in the proper mood, in the mood of request, in the mood of humility. So join me as we recite the invocation mantras. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Nerotamam Devim Sarasvatim Vyasam Tato Dayam Udirayet Nashta Prayashu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttamas Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Naistiki I offer my obeisances to the Supreme Personality of God at Vasudeva before reciting this stream of Bhagavatam which is the very means of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisances unto the personality of God and Narayan, unto Nara Narayan Rishi, the supermost human being, unto Mother Sarasvati, the goddess of learning, and unto Srila Vyasadeva, the author. By regular attendance in classes on the Bhagavatam and by rendering of service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed and Loving service unto the personality of Godhead, who is praised with transcendental songs, is established as an irrevocable fact. So, ang ating nakaraan, there was an instance where nung tinanggap nila, nireceive nila si Lord Krishna sa Dwarka, yung beauty ni Krishna was being described. Sabi nga dito, um, yung yung eyes nila sorry yung um, chest ni Krishna is the abode of the um, goddess of fortune Lakshmi wala mga kaagaw doon and yung mga 16,108 wives ni Krishna in Dwarka are all expansions of the goddess of fortune Lakshmi and the moon like face ni Krishna is like um, the drinking vessel the nectar that um, are entering in the eyes of these devotees. And Sri Prabhupada mentioned those artists who want to be satisfied in the sense of the you know, visual um, sense should look into the face of Lord Krishna. And the arms also is the resting place and protector of the administrative demigods. And of course, the, the pure devotees they always take shelter sa lotus feet ni Krishna. It is just like honey in the lotus feet ni Krishna. And yung uh, mga devotees, pure devotees, are just like honeybee. Di interesado sa ibang part. Yung, ibang, yung mga pure devotees. They're very satisfied by the lotus feet of Krishna. And it was being described here that Krishna is just like um, the same time uh, yung sun, moon, lighting, and rainbow that, that is appearing at the same time. So, ito yun. Sa likod pala na photo yan. Ayan. Ayan sila. Ito yung scenario doon. Si Krishna. Continued reading sa ating stream at Bhagavatam First Canto, Creation. Chapter 11. Lord Krishna's Entrance into Dwarka. We are now at text number 
30. Yes. Baba. Yan, tricks number 30. Thereafter, the Lord entered his palaces, which were perfect to the fullest extent. His wives lived in them, and they numbered over 16,000. So yung wives ni Krishna, yung mga princess, mga princess doon, are over 16,000. 16,108 wives. And it was being discussed here, si Krishna pumasok doon sa palace na yun, and yung mga wives niya, andun sa each palaces. So it was being discussed here that Krishna expanded himself into 16,108 wives. So if naisip mo mag-asawa ng 16,108, kailangan mo munang gawin mag-expand ka ng 16,108 times. <laughs> Kasi galing yung ginagawa ni Krishna. And in different palaces, it's very unique. And yung mga activities ni Krishna doon is very unique. Hindi siya umuulit lang, uy, ito yung ginagawa ni Krishna dito. Pagpunta niya sa kabila, ganun din. No, this kind of expansion ni Krishna, all is very unique. And lahat ng mga princesses, lahat ng mga, sorry, lahat ng mga queens ni Krishna are feeling na solo-solo nila sa Krishna. Which is, um, it is, solo talaga nila sa Krishna. And when you go to other palaces, yung mga queens ni Krishna, solo rin nila sa Krishna doon. So lahat doon naka-expand. Yung mga yogis could only... Um, expand themselves, sabi niya, tenfolds lang. Pero si Krishna yung Yugeshubara, the supreme mystic. Let's read in text number 31. The queens of Lord Sri Krishna rejoice within their minds to see their husband home after a long period abroad. The queens got up at once from their seats and meditations. As was socially customary, they covered their faces shyly and look about coyly. So this time, ang ginagawa ng mga um, queens doon, you know, pag may important yung bisita, makapatayo ka, you'll have to address them. And at the same time, yung mga queens are in meditation. Ano yung ginagawa nila yung meditation? <laughs> Sino yung minimeditate nila? They're always meditating on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the last uh, paragraph dito, um, they described actually yung characteristic ng mga queens ni Krishna, yung mga chaste wives. Sabi nga, the ornaments, the greatest na treasure, at the same time, kung saan nanggagaling yung, yung power ng mga um, ladies are coming from chastity. This is, of course, um, very sensitive sa mga pagdando sa mga femini feminists ng mga group. Pero try to see it in a spiritual um, point of view. And it should be done. Sabi nga dito, the wife should never present herself before the husband in an unclean state. And should not decorate her body kapag wala yung mga um, husband nila or attend sa mga function. Ngayon baligtad. <laughs> Kapag ano lang sila sa bahay, naka-duster lang sila. <laughs> di ba? Nakapambahay lang, naka-rollers. Tapos pag ba sila, kahit hindi kasama yung husband, doon sila mag-aayos. In the, um, a chase wife, pag kasama nila yung husband nila, kahit nasa bahay lang sila, fully decorated sila. Di ba? Pag hindi nila kasama yung husband nila, that's when, that's the yung time na very simple sila. Because they know yung object kung sino yung piniplease nila. Husband. Yeah. So they don't want to attract anyone else. You husband now. So we should be careful <laughs> na hindi tayo maging baliktad. Of course, hindi ako kasali doon. Yung mga may asawa lang. <laughs> hindi maging baliktad na when kasama yung mga husband, doon hindi nag-aayos or doon hindi nag, um, ano may, nag effort And pag doon yung pagwala, tas doon siya nag-aayos. So that's chastity. At the same time, when one is um, outside um, in the practice of Krishna consciousness, what I mean is outside sadhana, wala ka sa temple or wala ka sa, sa room mo na may um, altar, diba? Just like the um, queens, they're always thinking of Krishna. And us, 
devotees, aspiring to be, become devotees. If we're going outside, we're dealing with um, work, we're dealing with um, our businesses or other um, activities, we should always like, be the queens, always meditating on Krishna. Even di natin hawak yung beads natin, wala tayo, tayo sa temple or wala tayo, tayo sa may altar, we should always meditate on Krishna. And pag nakita natin si Krishna, we should be always in this mood. In the mood of welcoming palagi kay Krishna. Yung mga gupis nga rito na todo excite sila. Medyo na wala yung shyness nila kasi minsan niyayakap nila si Krishna and all. So maraming maraming salamat dun sa mga uma-attend. Kasi we're learning a lot actually. We're learning a lot from this. And um, by the help ng mga devotees na kasama natin, yung mga teachers natin, we're... We are um, actually trying to see in the perspective ng mga devotees, not see it just, just literally. And that's the help ni Srila Prabhupada giving the purports ng Srimad Bhagavatam and also yung mga um, sharing ng ating dear Prabhus. How about you, Chandra Prabhu? Hare Krishna, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Pleasure. Friday morning, TGIF. <laughs> so here, uh, yung dun mo na sinabi ni Radha Charan na about sa yung pag uh, when we are doing so-called not related to Krishna. Uh, Nanduro nga yung sa golden rule actually na always remember Krishna I never forget him. Kasi parang yung dati sinabi ko, tinanong ko na yun, eh, bakit parang parehas lang yun? Bakit yun? Pag, syempre, pag na-remember mo si Krishna, hindi mo siya makakalimutan. Pero yung, yung direct service natin kay Krishna, we remember him. Easily remember him. But when we're doing like work or any other things that looks like not related to Krishna, we should not forget him. That is Krishna consciousness. That's why it's a golden rule. So, kaya sabi naman dito sa chapter, ay sa, sa text 32, the insuperable ecstasy was so strong that the queens who were shy first embraced the Lord in the innermost recess of their hearts. Then they embraced him, they then they embrace him visually. Mm. Mm. And then they sent their son to embrace him, which is equal to personal embracing. But, O oh, chief among the Brigus, though they tried to restrain their feelings, they inadvertently inadvert shred tears. Ayan. So from here actually is um ano to eh uh, yun nga pinapakita dito yung chastity nung ano nung mga queens una uh, nagano sila yung virtually lang niya ano una their hearts in, in embrace by 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 the hearts and then pangalawa visually and then, sabi nga pangatlo is yung, yung sun, pin, pinadala yung sun, pinasalubong yung sun. Nga pala, yung nagsasalubong na yung mga inhabitants of Dwarka, nandun lang yung queen sa, sa kanya-kanyang palace. Hindi sila kasaling sumasalubong, actually. Kasi ganun nga daw etiquette. Hinihintay lang nila. Ganun yung parang level of chastity nun. At saka pinapakita dito yung level ng chastity sa uh, hindi talaga ano eh, kumbaga somehow it's parang it's a crime to, to do a PDA public display of, of affection pero kasi yung mga ganong klaseng activity na yung hugging and all is uh, very private very private so uh, may kita natin na uh, how cultured is the queen at that time. And then 
that's what we are trying to uh, learn from here also. And yun nga, they, they, hindi, hindi nga nila ma, yun, they can't restrain their, their feelings na sobrang napapayak na lang sila. Just red tears. And then, sabi nga dito sa 33, although Lord Shri Krishna was constantly by their side as well at as well as exclusively alone. His feet appeared to them to be newer and newer. The goddess of fortune, though by nature always restless and moving, could not quit the Lord's lotus feet. So what woman can be detached from those feet, having once taken shelter of them? Um, isang significant na very significant na word dito sa text 33 yung una muna yung Lord Krishna was constantly at their side but as well as exclusively alone yung siyempre very independent niya si Krishna actually and always one time my past time si si Mother Radharani and Krishna actually yung time na naka, nakasandal lang ng ganun si si Mother Radharani sa balikat ni Krishna pero um somehow naluluha naluha siya nakita ni Krishna oh bakit ka naluluha or ano si si Mother Radharani ni reveal niya na Iniisip niya pa lang, ini-imagine niya pa lang na aalis si Krishna. Wala na agad sa kanya. Eh, sabi, katabi mo lang ako eh. Ito lang ako eh. Tapos, parang, di ba, ganun na lang yung, yung attachment nung, ni si Mati Radharani, the, the topmost uh, devotee ni Krishna. Ganun na lang yung attachment, attachment na kay Krishna. So, That's why also the inhabitants of Vrindavan or the pure devotees of the Lord is ganun na lang yung attachment nila. And sabi, his feet is appeared to be to them to be newer and newer. Kasi <clears throat> may kita natin even dito sa material world. Um, we are looking, always looking for ano, for happiness because yung, yung nature natin eh, uh, eternally blissful or eternally happy and for us to become eternally happy you have to be full of knowledge actually so yun yung uh, nature ng soul full of knowledge and uh, full of bliss and eternal so you become eternally happy when you're full of knowledge means knowledge means hindi lang basta knowledge na uh, alam mo lang lahat or no. but you are we are sure of our parang future kasi pag pagka alam mo naman yung yung ginagalawang but may illumination but uh, pag pag the more na uh, hindi natin alam yung certain yung sa paligid natin or yung ginagalawan natin the more na may fear kaya nga pag madilim takot tayo eh pero the same place pag maliwanag hindi na tayo takot because may may idea ka may alam ka so ang isa pa diyan is newer and newer is because um you see sabi ko we are always chasing of happiness I sabi nga happiness is not a uh, destination it's a way of life um bakit ko sinabi yun kasi One time, uh, not one time, nung bata ako, lagi kong ano, lang ba, laging ganun yung concept ko ng happiness na, ah, pag nakagraduate ako, masaya na ako. Ah, pag nakapasa ako na exam, masaya na ako. Ay, pag bakasyon, two months, masaya na ako. Ah, darating yung Pasko, masaya na ako. Pagdating mo dun, uh, ito na ba yun? Uh, then what? Nakuha ko na yung regalo ko, ito na ba yun? What what else? What else? And then, may kita mo, ngayon, uso yung sa, sa YouTube, yung mga unboxing-unboxing. Bakit ano? Bakit laging 
bakit parang laging okay o exciting yung unboxing? Kasi yan doon yung anticipation, yung saya nun. Kaya nga sabi, mayroong unboxing therapy. Na anong meron dito? Anong meron dito sa ano? Sa sa bubuksan ko na to na surprise ako, hindi ko alam. <laughs> so, tapos, yun yung happiness eh. Pero dito sa material world, o pag nag-unbox ka, okay, i-enjoy mo. Then, pagkatapos dumating yung bagong version, wala na. Hindi mo na feel. Gusto mo na ulit yung isa. Pero yung, yung ano, yung kay Krishna, That's why you were in your laging laging fresh. Is yun nga laging fresh, laging bago. May kita natin. Bakit tayo lagi nandito sa bago batam? Kasi lagi ka magtatanong ano kayong sasabihin nila bukas. Ano kayong ano? Parang laging bago, parang di ata nauulit ah. Sige, ganun ka tindi yung bago batam eh. I mean yung yung uh, mga past time secretion with his devotee. So, um kaya yun nga siya yung abode ng ano reservoir of all pleasure. So kanino ba tayo manghihingi ng pleasure? Kay Krishna or ng happiness kay Krishna. So siya yun. And take note. Binibigay ni, ni Krishna yun in a form of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu na kinuha niya sa store fraud or storehouse ng spiritual world. Dinala niya dito in the form of the holy name. And that is love of God. That's why, magtataka ka, bakit yung chanting pa ulit-ulit? The same, the same word. Kasi, or the same word. Yung sinabi ng tatay ko eh, one time nag, nag-kirtan kami sa bahay, sabi niya ganun, um, maganda yung ano niya eh, no? yung kanta niya. Kaso, wala bang ibang lyrics yan? <laughs> sabi, pero maganda, natutuwa siya. Pero I mean, yes, and I appreciate even uh, yung hindi pa nag- nagingiging devotee. Pero what I mean is, hindi pa tayo nagtataka. Ba't paulit-ulit natin siya sabi? Pas, oh, oh, may time na napapagod tayo. Pero mostly, oh, most of the time, hindi tayo napapagod. Um, um, pero sabi nga ni, ni Prabhupad, pagka chinat mo daw yung Coca-Cola, hindi pa rin makikwens yung thirst mo, yung thirst mo. Yung uhaw mo, hindi pa rin makikwens. Pero pag tinan mo yung Hare Krishna, Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Rama. So, ano, merong something na hindi mo mapaliwanag na bakit ganun, ba diba? So, hindi siya, hindi siya normal o hindi siya, ano, na, ano, na, word. So, transcendental siya. And, uh, anyway, the Lord, uh, 34, <laughs> the Lord was pacified after killing those kings who were burdensome to the earth. They were puffed up with their military strength, their horses, elephants, chariots, infantry, etc. He himself was not a party in the fight he simply created hostility between the powerful administrator and they fought amongst themselves he was like the wind which caused friction between the bamboos between bamboos and so spark as so spark a fire um yung back story niyan itong 34 na to na yung uh ato say killing those kings who were burdensome to the earth is uh, hinilingan ni Lord Brahma eh, kasi sobrang mabigat na sobrang demonyak na yung mga kings and yun yun nga yung nangyari is pinagtipon-tipon niya tapos like like the like the friction of uh, bamboo kaya nagkakaroon ng forest fire so wala namang nag-ignite nun pero those friction amongst themselves Uh, yun, na ano sila, na ano to, they all killed amongst themselves. 
because yun nga kaila, uh, sobrang hindi na kaya ng earth hindi na kaya ng earth yung ano yung ano to yung burden actually sabi nga eh lahat kumbaga yung mga ibang yung mga sinful activities parang pwede pa eh, kaya pa eh. pero isang pinakamabigat na hindi kaya ni mother earth is yung lie yung mag magsinungaling or untruthful so yun Um, and then on the 35 the supreme personality of god had shri krishna out of his causeless mercy appeared on this planet by his internal potency and enjoyed himself among competent women as if were engaging in a mundane affairs so yun nga eh. sa sa mata natin uh, whatever you ma parang yung mga ginagawa ni Krishna na ano is na uh, uh, parang affection sa kagnare yan yung sixteen thousand hundred page na controversial na yun is um kala natin mundane but it's too it's transcendental or it's it's spiritual and all the uh, reason is to please his devotee please the prayer of his devotee um uh, you fulfill the prayers of his uh, pure devotees so and also there they are not ordinary women <clears throat> so yeah the lord married and lived like a householder this is certainly like uh it was a purport uh purport ni prophet This is certainly like a mundane affair, but when we learn that he married 16,108 wives and lived with them separately in each and every palace, certainly it's not mundane. Therefore, the Lord living as a householder amongst his competent wives is never mundane. So, yun nga. And take note. Sabi, 16,108 wives. All of that has a separate palace na made of gems, gold, rubies, and all. Na yung buong palace is ganun yung, yung composition niya. And all, their wall maintained and uh, decorated and all. So, if If sabi nga ni Radha Tiran, if someone wants to imitate that, yes, be my guest. You should uh, do that. Also, th- those kinds of, uh, uh, how to say, facility. Incredible facility, which is only the Lord can do that, not us. So, am I, am I enough? Am I in time? Sige pa. So, ayun. Do you want to say more? Eh, okay na ako eh. Okay. Uh, rather than prove, there you are. Hare Krishna. Good morning. Mukhang maganda yung gising ni Nabati Chandra Prabhu. Ah. Ganda ng mga sinabi niya. Dami nating natutunan. Um, thanks again for attending and I'm very grateful to be with you to uh, be studying this Shimad Bhagavatam and the wonderful stories. Amazing talaga yung ano, si Krishna talaga is the most amazing personality. Si, like Navadip Chandra Prabhu and Radha Chandra Prabhu is describing this very pastime lang how he uh, got the 16,108 wives. Diba? It, it's something that um, no ordinary person can do. But anyway, we will read from the purport that because of the unfortunate situation um, living entity being covered by so much um, illusion and materialistic desires. Even Krishna have shown the way. <laughs> We still deride him. We uh, try to ignore the fact that Krishna actually lived with us and um, displayed this wonderful and extraordinary superhuman pastimes. Gusto ko lang, gusto ko lang banggitin yung ano eh, yung, you can say backstory how actually it came about na pinakasalan ni Lord Krishna tong 16,108 wives. Kasi 
pwede nating ma-question na bakit naman ganun? Ba't kailangan ba talaga ganun kadami? Hindi ba pwedeng satisfied na lang siya kay, kay Rukmini? Is, ano, the main queen? Parang ganun. Ba't kailangan may maraming, ano, maraming wife? Um, konting, konting backstory lang, in detail bakit. Kasi remember, or kung narinig natin yung past times na yung pagbewilder ni Lord Krishna kay Lord Brahma, Ah, ni, yeah, yeah, ni Lord Krishna kay Lord, kay Lord Brahma. Kasi, di ba, yung story nung si Lord Brahma fascinated siya with this boy and ang dami nagsasabi na he's uh, the supreme personality of Godhead pero hindi siya makapaniwala. It's, it's appears to him na para this is just an ordinary boy. He's playing with his friends and his friends, pag nagsasalita sila habang kumakain, tumatalsik pa nga yung mga kinakain nila sa bibig niya. So, Parang mga masasabing supreme god to, di ba? Parang, parang, di ako maniniwala, di ako maniniwala. But anyway, dahil maraming nagsasabi, test niya. So, tinest ni Lord Brahma, di ba? Si, si Lord Krishna. And yung test na yun, nangyari yun nung tinago niya yung, yung lahat ng mga cows, and calves, and Lord Krishna's um, intimate friends, the, uh, the coward boys. So, di ba, describe dun nung, nung tinago ni Lord Brahma yun, Um, sa isang some, sabi nga pagka-describe is like a pocket somewhere in a thin, thin air nag-create siya ng pocket and he placed all those um, um, personalities and the animals there para makip kasi uh, the story goes that um, si Krishna kailangan somehow parang may kailangan siyang punta and then pagbalik niya parang ano um, pag ba dun? parang biglang biglang mawawala mawawala na lang bigla yung mga kasamahan niya So anyway, uh, i-trick ni Lord Brahma yun. Kala niya matitrick niya si Lord Krishna. Pero sinasabi yung single moment lang na yun na, na di ba describe natin na yung timeline dito sa material world iba pagdating sa sa sa, ano, sa, sa higher realms. Parang di ba one, one day doon is like what, six months here? Parang ganun. Or, ano, one minute? One minute? Parang ganun. But anyway, that that short moment na tinago ni Lord Brahma yung mga para sa kanya, para kay Lord Brahma, yung tinago niya. Actually, it took many ano na, many years pagdating sa sa timeline kung nasaan nandoon si Lord Krishna. And 'di ba din describe na lahat, even the cows, uh, the calves, the uh, the the, the cowherd boys, lahat 'yon um minultiply ni Krishna in in, in sa up to the detail lahat-lahat ng mga tinago ni Lord Brahma para para hindi mawala sa sa presence ng mga beloved nila yung mga coward boys and mga cubs na yon so lahat yon um nag-expand si Krishna so anyway long story short na builder si Lord Brahma na ganun how come nandoon pa rin sila and then it seems na yung mga mothers and the cows are even more affectionate to their loved ones because somehow it's different and that is the story why because Krishna si Krishna yung si Krishna yung yung personalities na yon sabi walang 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 ano walang wala siyang na miss na detail siguro kahit mga mga nonal or whatever basta lahat lahat ginaya ni Krishna na uh, hindi nila makita ang, ang ang tanging napansin lang nila is parang like sa mothers parang hindi naman ako usually ganito ka ka enthusiastic sa anak ko uh, magpadede or alagaan pero somehow it's different now kasi they don't know that si Krishna nga yun. so anyway that being said yung mga cowherd boys na yon na somehow lumaki na and um Um, time for their marriage na. So actually, ang pinakasali nila is si Lord Krishna. Kasi nag-pass na yung time eh. Nag-pass na yung time. Kinwento to ni Krishna Baradei Prabhu. Maybe mas marami lang, marami pa akong details na nakalimutan. Pero essentially, nung mga time na nag-married, pumasok na sa married life yung mga cowherd boys na yun, which is actually Krishna. So yung mga, yung mga gopis na yun, ang pinakasali nila actually is si Krishna. ba? Diba? until that time na parang ni reveal na yung yung past time na ayun nga because of that uh, past time with Lord Brahma kinailangan niyang i-multiply yung sarili niya para lang hindi sila alam yan because Krishna always comes to the rescue so yun lang yung back story and then nag-translate na yun na bakit nag-desire yung 16,108 wives na yun and actually yun si Krishna ang pinakasal nila 
So pwede natin i-share sa kanila pa yung the more details kung paano nangyari yon. Pero essentially parang ganun yon. So walang so parang walang walang mali. <laughs> In a sense walang So anyway, that's the back story of that 16,108 wives in my sort of uh, understanding. But for sure, there's more details on that. So we continue reading this wonderful story of Krishna now entering the uh, each and every palaces and how the, the queens are reacting and welcoming their long... Parang ano, um, Long lost the beloved Lord Krishna. And now we're in text number 36. Although the queen's beautiful smiles and furtive, furtive, no, tama, furtive. It's not furtive. Yeah, furtive. Although the queen's beautiful smiles and furtive glances were all spotless and exciting. And although they could conquer Cupid himself by making him give up his bow in frustration and all pertaining to the beauty of the uh, queens and the smiles. Still, despite all their magical feats and attractions, they could not agitate the senses of the Lord. Wonderful. So sa purport, napakabang purport kung basahin natin. Essentially, Sheila Prabhupada is explaining the, um, the extraordinary, the, magnific- the magnificent, the powerful um, beauty, you know, the extraordinary beauty of the queens, Lord Krishna, na dinidescribe ni Sheila Prabhupada na may mga pastimes na even Cupid was um, bewildered, even Lord Shiva Lord Shiva was bewildered by the beauty of the Lord. Um, yung Cupid, actually, ano eh, sa, sa, sa Vedic uh, scriptures, siya yung tinitawag na si Kamadev. Siya yung demigod na responsible for inducing ano, parang lusty, lusty desires ng um, illusioned human being. Or in other words, siya yung nagpapasilitate nung Uh, specifically, uh, last desires between uh, men and women, uh, this attraction between the opposite sex. So, siya si Kama Dave. Siya yung, and, and somehow, tama yung, yung para ang version ng mga modern, ano natin, ng mga modern, uh, whatever, historians, or whoever created that Cupid with the image of, uh, with the wings and with the arrow. It's actually ganun yun eh. Si Cupid, si Cupid daw yun talaga yung may arrow na yun. So, pinapana niya yung mga puso ng mga tao para maging attracted sila sa isa't isa. And, but that is because that's coming from the individual's ano, um, desire also. Krishna is just facilitating through the agency of these uh, demigods, these personalities. And in this, in this case, Kamadev, siya yung responsible na magbigay ng, ng ganong, um, sabi, inducive, inducing the lusty desires of the living entities. Kasi living entities will always be living entities. Parang <laughs> binanggit natin din na kanan. Men will be men. Parang ganun. Women will be women. There will always be desires. As long as one is living in this material world, desires are always going to come up. That's why um, it will never be satiated. Um, so in this particular particular text, sinasabi ni Sheryl Prabhupada na even, kasi may pastime na even si Cupid, din describe no yung power ng beauty ng mga queens and may pastime si Lord Vishnu na somehow by nakita ni Cupid or ni Kamadev na yung dealings between Lord Vishnu and the uh, and specifically Lakshmi Devi di ba si Lord Vishnu lagi nakikita natin na nasa coastal ocean and then he's always uh, being served by Lakshmi Devi diba? si Lord Vishnu si Lakshmi Devi hindi mo sila mag- mapaghihiwalay Si Lakshmi Devi is always there to serve um, Lord Lord Vishnu, just like Lord Krishna and uh, Shamati Radharani is inseparable. So parang nung nakita ni Cupid o ni Kamadev yung ganong yung ganong dealings between Lord Vishnu and um um tag dito and Lakshmi Devi and the other and other uh, damsels. 
nag-give up daw siya kasi ang trabaho niya nga para magbigay ng ano eh, attraction or whatever. Pero ginive up niya rin bonyo kasi parang wala na siyang hindi niya kaya yung type ng ng attraction na binibigay ng ni Lakshmi, ni Lakshmi Devi kay Lord Vishnu. Hindi hindi kaya ng ka, ng pwede niyang ibigay sa mga la ordinary living entities because the Lakshmi Devi is the uh, internal potency of Lord Vishnu. Um non different in the sense and ginive up igigive up niya yung bow niya kasi nga parang walang silbi to frustrated daw kasi <laughs> hindi ko to magagawa parang ganoon give up siya so they didn't describe na parang ganoon na even the cupid cupid is um un- unable to to do his job pagdating sa dealings ni Lord Vishnu and uh, the goddess Lakshmi Devi and then another another example Uh, another na nabanggit, personality na nabanggit dito ni Shri Prabhupada sa translation sa text number 36 is Lord Shiva. Di ba? Alam naman natin si Lord Shiva is that um, seemingly um, parang nakaka-turn off na personality na always looks um, hideous and dirty with snakes and skulls all over his body. But uh, because he is um, the demigod in charge of the mode of ignorance so parang nire-represent niya is parang lower modes but he's actually a pure devotee he's, he's actually a topmost devotee of Lord Krishna but this is his job this is his nature and may pastime na because Lord Shiva may sinasabi na is he ano siya um, he's always in meditation to the Lord uh, to the glories of the Lord to the form, form of the Lord and his pastimes he's always scene, you know, like sitting down and half-closed eyes. So parang yung mga picture ng mga yogi na perfectly postured and half-closed eyes na in meditation. Si Lord Shiva palaging ganun. So he, because of that, he's, uh, he's very tolerant. He's very simple in that sense. Pero may pastime na even himself was because of his intense desire to, to see the form of the Lord in a, in a, a women uh, incarnation. Uh, because of uh, Lord Vishnu's um, or Krishna's arrangement, he was even bewildered by by this um, form of the Lord who came. May may story kasi na how it came about because yung the time na nagbabattle yung demigods and the demons uh, for this uh, nectar na makukuha nila ron sa sa ocean of what's the ocean of what's the ocean of milk, di ba? Ano ganon? So um, there was this pastime that the demigods and the demons they are fighting over to get this ano parang nectar na tinatawag na somaras which is supposed to give them everlasting um, life and supreme power. So uh, that pastime goes that it seemingly na parang nananali yung mga demons kasi nga uh, malakas din sila eh. So like always Krishna comes uh, to the rescue. Kasi of course ayon ayon ni Krishna mapunta yung powers na yon or yung nectar na yon sa hands ng mga demons because they will certainly uh, misuse it for their own um, selfish um, intentions and to rule over the uh, the entire creation. So Krishna will na, is not going to allow that to happen. So he incarnates Lord Krishna, Lord Vishnu, incarnated as Mohini Murti. So he is the, she is that um, very wonderful, very beautiful, bewildering personality. Na somehow by by that uh, pastime, he she was able to to award the um, the nectar to the demigods because the, de- the the demons got bewildered. So there is that we can. I was researching for it and. Apparently, it's in the uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 8, specific chapter na, um, chapter 8, mga ganun. Starting chapter 8 until um, 10, parang ganun, or 11. So, pwede nyo basahin nyo for more details. But anyway, y- so, so nung, nung, nung nangyari yon actually, na, nag-request si Lord Shiva na makita niya ulit. Siguro sa mga wala, wala si Lord Shiva doon, ewan kung bakit. Pero nag-request daw siya eh, na makita ulit yun. Kasi very wonderful sa kanya. Because of his intense desire. 
nag-request siya. Pumunta silang dalawa na asawa niya, si Sati o si Uma. Maraming names siya na Sati. So anyway, the couple went to Lord Vishnu requesting to have a darshan again of this ano, wonderful personality kasi this was certainly new and fascinating because the Lord usually descends or incarnates in a, in a male form. But this one is so special. And as the story went, diba, my special um, mission in a we, we, woman and a woman form, in the form of a women, women. So intense, yung desire ni Lord Shiva na makita yon. But anyway, long story short, okay, Lord Vishnu facilitated. <laughs> and um, so gusto mo makita, okay. Nung time na sinabi niya, bilaro na wala si Lord Vishnu. And sama, okay, alis na tayo. Hindi natin alam niya sabi. Kaya nag-stumble sila sa si isang forest. And from there, may napansin si Lord Shiva na parang beautiful, beautiful um, women. Na anyway, long story short again, um, na-attract siya. Uh, even nandun yung asawa niya, kasama niya because of this bewildering beauty na attract siya. Talagang hinabo niya kung saan-saan magpunta. Um, then, of course, nagkaroon ng parang contact. Then, um, Lord Shiva was soon to realize na this is, you desired for it. And Lord Vishnu showed you. Lord Krishna showed you and then yun, nabibuilder siya, nabibuilder siya. Even sa harap ng asawa niya, nabibuilder siya. Anyway, the point is, uh, that's the beauty of, of the Lord. Uh, even, even the, uh, even the great Lord Shiva is bewildered. So, did you describe lang dito ng Shila Prabhupada sa, sa, sa mga attributes ng queens of Dwarka, ni Lord Krishna, na, kahit na ganun sila kabuwildering sa ibang personalities like the demigods we mentioned Kama Dev and Lord Shiva still they cannot agitate Lord Krishna because Lord Krishna is self satisfied he he owns everything he is the, the source of everything source of the beauty all of this is coming from him so how he, he certainly he cannot be and you know, he cannot be attracted to any anything self satisfied na siya self sufficient So in this in this uh, particular verse pinapakita lang sa atin yung, yung absolute uh, transcendental uh, position ni Lord Krishna that he is not bewildered by anything uh, in fact he is the he is the uh, the source of all this beauty he and he is self satisfied so let's continue on with text number 37 The common materialistic conditioned souls speculate that the Lord is one of them. Out of their ignorance, they think that the Lord is affected by matter, although He is unattached. So dito naman sa text number 37, ang uh, nakuha ko sa purport ni Sheila Prabhupada, in-explain niya yung, un- again, the unfortunate um, situation of those who actually think that Krishna is touched by material, material um, energy. Diba? Kasi he came here and uh, apparently he's doing parang yung sinasabi nga ni Navadip Chandra Pune. Parang it seems like yung activities niya is mundane. is just like what we are doing also. Like we have me, I have a wife like this. So Krishna is dealing with, with, with wife and his activities are seemingly parang um, in the same level as the human beings. So but in experience Shri Prabhupada, this but, but this is because of the illus- that illusory energy. And mamaya matatakal natin yung ano, yung next verse actually is parang kabaliktaran nitong text number 37 naman eh. Pagdating sa mga devotees, ano naman yung nag-iillusion sa mga devotees na ni Krishna, yung mga unalloyed, pure, transcendental um dyan, intimate uh, uh, associates ni Lord. Even them na under din sila ng illusion. But that illusion is different. That is called the yoga maya. And us, the, the in the material world, who have a, uh, we are under we are under this materialistic, the material energy of Krishna called the uh, mahamaya naman. So ayun yung nagkakover sa 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 living entities because of illusion, because of envy, because simply of ignorance. They cannot understand this feature of the Lord that He is He is untouched. He is not at all um, subject to material material energy. 
in fact, material energy ser serves Lord Krishna. So, but again, because of uh, ignorance, because of lack of knowledge, or simply by um, because one is envious about the uh, position of the Lord, they think that he's ordinary. So this is the misfortune of the human being. Like we've said, even though Krishna have already um, explained his position, still people derive him. So sa text number 38, like sinasabi ko, ito naman yung yung kabaliktaran yung text number 37 sa, sa explanation lang of how um, the material uh, energy covers up certain uh, living entities and how the spiritual or the internal potency, internal energy of the Lord covers the devotees. Text sa translation and text number 38. This is the divinity of the personality of Godhead. He is not affected by the qualities of material nature, even though he is in contact with them. Similarly, the devotees who have taken shelter of the Lord do not become influenced by, by the material qualities. So once we, we, we come in contact with Krishna consciousness, then by, by sincere practice and uh, serious uh, sadhana, we can, be under, uh, we can be out of the spell of the material nature. Why? Because we have now uh, come in contact with, with the nature of Krishna and how if one simply serves Krishna, then all these uh, materialistic um, influences will be uh, nullified because we are trying to serve the uh, internal energy of the Lord. So mawawala tayo dun sa, sa position na parang illusion or we are in doubt because we have now, because of uh, chanting of the holy names, mercy of the devotees, we are able to understand Krishna's um, true position, our true position as the servant of the Lord. And because of that, we are out of the danger of this illusory energy. And uh, we are actually trying to serve, serve Lord Krishna, serve, serve in the internal energy. Because Krishna always protects his devotees. Marami siyang mga binitawang seta sa Bhagavad Gita na he will protect. I promise that he will be saved. If one simply surrenders unto me. So that is the difference between the devotee and the non-devotee. Devotees are always under the care of Krishna. They're always under the, the um, energy, spiritual energy, internal energy of Krishna, the internal potency. Um, but on the other hand, the non-believers, the non-devotees, is always under the spell of this illusory energy, the material potency. Kasi sinasabi sa, ano, sinasabi sa, sa purport, na yung sinasabi ko na yung this yoga maya potency yung ano eh, yung mga yung mga queens ng Dwarka it will not be possible for them to have this kind of relationship with Krishna as a queen as a as a wife if they they fully understand that Krishna is the supreme personality of God parang hindi sila hindi pwedeng mangyari na ganun eh na like, they will have you know um certain activities as a husband and wife and acting uh, in the household, householder life, it will not by, be possible if they know that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God, or at least in the words of Srila Prabhupada, if they fully know. Diba? Parang, okay, uh, asawa ko, Supreme Personality. But syempre parang mawawala yung, yung loving relationship na tinatawag. If wala ka dun sa spell na gustong Sabi nga, Krishna is so independent, he acts however he likes. So pinuput niya yung mga devotees niya under that spell, uh, under the agency of the, this yoga maya potency, the internal potency, para makover up yung, yung devotee. Dahil gusto ni Lord Krishna ang relationship ko sa'yo, uh, friend. Gusto ni Krishna relationship ko sa'yo as a, as a wife. Parang ganon. Parang hindi magiging posible yun kung, kung wala yung covering na yun. So Krishna acts in such a way na we can have or because of he, because he likes it to be that way inaallow niya tayo magkaroon ng ganung classing relationship with him with the agency of this yoga maya potency otherwise it will not be possible nga sabi niya to that these queens of dwarka will have this kind of sentiment and um, attraction or parang um, attitude towards the lord if they know fully the position of lord krishna so Yun yung difference ng covering na binibigay ng internal energy ni Krishna sa kanyang mga devotees as opposed to the external energy or the illusory energies covering 
for the uh, materialistic um, living entities that they forget Krishna. That is the, the, the end result of the uh, external potency. We forget Krishna. But the internal potency makes us always remember Krishna in a very sweet manner, in a manner that Krishna chooses for us to be as a friend, as a, as a, a wife, as a, parang ganun, as a cousin, mga ganun. So all these relationships are present to enhance. It enhances the relationship as opposed to we forget the relationship if we're under the material um, nature. So last text, sa chapter na to, text number 39, natin quickly. The simple and delicate women truly thought that Lord Sri Krishna, their beloved husband, followed them and was dominated by them. They were unaware of the extent of the glories of their husband as the atheists are unaware of him as the it will not be possible. So they are, they, are, uh, uh, they truly believe that Krishna you know, follows them just like you know, and, and seemingly uh, a, a husband is always attracted or following the, the wife, you know, so parang ganon. They truly believe that because Krishna, Krishna wanted that, the glory of their husband. So yun yung explain natin ba? And that's why the, the relationship of like that is possible. So... That's the end of this uh, chapter 11, Lord Krishna's entrance to Dwarka. Narachan Prabhu, any parting or last words, closing words? Thank you very much, my dear Radhanath Prabhu, Navadip Chan Prabhu. Napaganda nun. And as just like the stories, minsan after one venue or scenario, they will go to an, another scenario. So tomorrow we will start yung birth of Emperor Pariksit. And maraming maraming salamat. Sobrang nakaka-enjoy. Um, I-relish yung mga pastime na to. And we're getting to know different perspective on the Supreme Personality of God. The different relationship niya sa mga devotees niya. And different mga greatness and sweetness ni Krishna. So kita kita tayo later sa mga batch 4. Kita tayo 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And... Ano ba ngayon? Friday? Okay, Friday we have a Kirtan Sangha. This will be 7 o'clock live in Facebook and also in Zoom. So, we will post the announcement later on. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you very much. Grant Arad Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Gore Pramananda. Yari Yari Bo. Radnat Prabhu Ki Jai. Nabadip Sarah Prabhu Ki Jai. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good morning. Hare Krishna. It's great, brother. Hare Krishna. Bye bye.